You better check your shelf before you wreck yourself. Hello again, lovely internet people. HR here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where we talk about stuff and things. Today is a response video of sorts. I keep seeing a lot of shorts and videos with titles like Questions for Atheist or Challenge for Atheist. So I've got a trinity of questions for theist today. As a reminder, my views and opinions are just that, my own ideas and perspectives. I live in America, so my ideas don't represent a worldwide view, and I do not speak for all atheists. Christianity dominates my little corner of the world, and I have studied it the most, so that's the religion I focus on. As usual, I'll play a video replay of my art while discussing today's topic to both give the comment trolls a snack and for your enjoyment. I want to preface that my questions and challenges are for theists that have a holy book or a religious text at the foundations of their beliefs. If you have a more abstract or vague idea about a god or gods, these questions may not apply to you in the same way. Question 1. Have you read your own book? I mean the whole thing, from cover to cover. I don't mean have you gone to church and have parts of it read to you. I don't mean reading books about it. I don't mean the parts you learned in Sunday school. I don't mean reading blogs or watching videos about it. Have you read the entirety of the Bible or whatever your foundational holy texts are for yourself? If I had money, I'd be willing to bet that the answer for many of you will be no. So that is my first challenge to you. If this book is as important as you say it is, if it is a guide to your eternal future, if it can save you from an eternity in hellfire, if you think we should get our morals from this book and build our society based around it, then it follows that reading that book in its entirety is one of the most important things you could possibly do as a believer. Question two. Have you researched the history of your book? What do you know about who the authors were? Do you know how mistranslations, copy errors, and other factors may have changed and shaped the original meanings and altered the original texts? If you haven't, I encourage you to do your own research on the history and people involved in the creation of the text. Again, if this book is the key to eternal life, don't you want to know everything you can about what it contains and where it comes from? Question 3. Have you read the writings that didn't make it into the canon of your version of the Bible? Some versions of the Bible have 80 books. Some have 73 books. Other versions have 66 books. There are other texts written in antiquity containing interesting stories, many bearing names you already know from the Bible. I encourage believers to check out those works. I know that religion is an integral part of many people's lives. I understand that it can provide a sense of purpose, comfort, and guidance. However, if a religious text is to be regarded as the literal divine message of a deity and the foundation for beliefs, it is essential that we understand the context in which it was written and what might have influenced the interpretations and practices that we've inherited. I know I've focused mainly on the Bible, but those three questions I posed can be applied to any text that are considered to be divinely inspired. Finally, I have a bonus challenge. There's an anecdotal notion in the atheist community that many religious people haven't fully read their own book while simultaneously telling others that they need to read it, believe it, and abide by its tenets. So, here's your chance to prove atheists wrong. If you're a theist, please leave a comment letting me know if you had read the entire book cover to cover for yourself, or if you haven't read the whole thing yet. And if you haven't read it yet, will you accept my challenge? If you don't plan to, why not? If this book holds the keys to an eternity and your fate depends on your understanding of it, don't you want to absorb as much of it as possible? That's where I'm going to leave it today. 
Thank you for watching. Please like the video if you like the video. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. Please be respectful of others in the comments. Debate is great, but let's stay out of debasement. Um, I've got a website, renewedviews.com, a Patreon. I'm also on Twitch if you want to see more stuff and things. Thanks again for watching, and maybe you'll see me in the next one.